In this video, we're going to talk about setting environment variables. And one very common use case is to uh, use environment variables to override log levels. So let me toggle over to IntelliJ real quick. So you can see here uh, for this application, the application properties that's getting deployed. So I have everything in a package called Guru Spring Framework SFG Rust Brewery, and that is at a debug level right now. So let me come back over to the uh, command line. And we can do cube CTL get all, and let's do cube CTL logs, and we'll uh, pass it in an ID of this uh, container. And here we can see uh, in my beer loader we are getting loading initial initial data, so count is zero. I see that we have the start it start of that, but the primary one is. Uh, here we have count as zero, and this is from Guru Spring Framework, Rust Brewery, Bootstrap, and we can see this is log output. And we are at a debug level, so we can see that right in the log data. And for a deployment, a lot of times, uh, development-wise, we, we love getting log data at a debug level. But when we have stuff running in production, obviously that's not something that we want. So what we can do is clear this, and here... Uh, let's come in and edit the deployment, like so, and come down here. And in the containers, there's actually we can actually set a another property, and that is going to be here. I'm going to come in. Actually, I want to use spaces here for YAML. I'm going to say env, and this is going to take a, a name value pair as a list of different environment properties that we are going to be setting. And here what I want to do is say name. And what we want to do is for the properties that we set in our property file, it's going to be all uppercase uh, with an underscore. So we'll do logging. So that is going to be the environment property name. And then we give it another property for the value, creatively named value. And in this case, we're going to switch it to the info log level. So this sets up the environment property. And again, just uh, remember in our property files, we're going to have name dot dot name. Here we're going to go name underscore name. So logging underscore level underscore guru package name. And then the value of info. So let's go ahead and write that. And here, another thing we can do, what we can do here is we do have that up and running. We can see that's uh, going for six minutes. We can do apply minus F. And this is going to tell Kubernetes to go ahead and reapply that as changes, and it will cause that container to uh, restart with a new environment variable. And we see the get all. And here you can see one pod is terminating and another one is starting. So let's grab this one. And it, it actually started up before I could get that command in. But you can see now the debug log information is no longer there. So that environment property has been applied to the container and we've changed the log level of our Spring Boot application. So now we are not dumping that uh, debug information into our container log. So again, this is a very common use case. So when we have uh, stuff that we're debugging locally as a developer, obviously we like that. When we are running in a deployment environment, typically we don't want to have uh, all that debug log data uh, going through our system. So let me clear this. And just take a quick look at that. Uh, you can see down here on the bottom for our spec on the containers, we edited this file and we put in the property env, which is going to take a list of environment variables. And that is going to be setting up the log level for my package to info, overriding what is in our Spring Boot deployment artifact. 